In this episode, I'd like to show you uh, how we can uh, show the new form that we have in Microsoft uh, List and in SharePoint List on a page. So, um, as you can see, uh, I'm on a list and we have this new forms where we can uh, add a new form. In this case, I created, I gave a name to the form, I decided which columns do I want to add. And I could also add additional ones here that are not in the list. At the end, I could preview and I could do some uh, theme, theme uh, coloring and also some settings. Um, but at the end, if you do send form, we have the link that is copied. Then you can send it to somebody and they can present it. Now let's see uh, what is the finished uh, solution and then we can see how we can uh, apply it. So uh, I took a page and uh, I added form. Now the question is, how do you do it? So thank you to Federico Sapia that men mentioned in a post that you can actually use our embedded uh, web part. So let's try to do it. Um, we'll go to the home uh, home link and we will create a new page. We'll take a blank page and what we will do is give it a name. So let's just call it demo form and let's apply some image just to make it nicer. And um, here we are. Let's take this uh, background. Uh, now what we will do here is look for a web part which is called embedded. And you see we have it here. And here we need to put, usually you can put here either a uh, iframe with the link or a direct link if it's a, a list or a YouTube channel. So we will take the format in the script. We can adjust it directly here just to make it easier. So the height and width I'll put to 1000 and the link that we got from the form will be here and we will enter the link. This iframe, we, we will actually, uh, in the page, uh, paste here. And uh, now you can also set if it's fit to, to the page. Now we see the, the whole form uh, in the page, we can publish it. And uh, this is exactly what we wanted to, to see. Okay, so this means that anyone in the company that goes to this page can fill it out and he will actually and uh, not see the results that are, are saved in the list. Um, this is the currently the, the feature, um, but there's some uh, gotcha uh, when using uh, embedded. So I'll show you what can happen uh, if you have uh, more uh, columns that, uh, than what we have here. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and it looks not bad at all. It fits and um, very good. But if we go to the form and customize and let's add all of the columns. Before there were only three or four, five. Now let's see what happens if we refresh the page. What do you think will happen? So as expected, you see that we have an additional scroll bar that is within the page besides, uh, this is within the iframe. So um, hopefully um, maybe Microsoft will introduce a specific web part for showing our forms or that directly if you put the, the link to the URL of the form it will show it and will not and uh, we will not have this issue of uh, two scroll bars but um, this is a great solution and this is how we sometimes Im implement and put lists that are not on the same site and other, uh, maybe a YouTube channel or a YouTube uh, link uh, that we want to present. So um, 
Thank you, Federico Sapia, again for the shout out, and uh, I'm happy to to share this with all of you. So, if you like my channel, subscribe, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.